Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, it's been a while that we have not been together. It's been a while that we have not shared with each other. So uh, I want to know how you're doing. How are you doing? Are you out and about already? Have you come uh, out? Are you back at work or are you still staying at home? For those of you who do not know me, uh, this is Lisa. And uh, by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. But what I like to say is I'm here to help you break through of whatever it is that you have patterns, behaviors, and habits. So by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. But more than that, it's shifting mindset reset, right? So let's talk about it. Hello, I am having... All right, let's see how we can see all this together. Wonderful. Now I can see all of you. If uh, you are chatting or making a comment, I will be seeing you right here. Today we're going to be talking about something that has been coming up. Um, if you tuned in last week, I had a wonderful guest, Robert Wall. He was my guest. Uh, we've known each other for over a year now. And we talked about loss, the loss of his daughter and how he coped with all that and going through depression and coming through how he healed himself, what I truly like to call it, heal within. Because there is nothing in the world that you can do, no one has control over you, except you. You have the full choice and control of when you want to heal, when you want to get better, when you want to succeed, or what you believe is holding you back. And sometimes, here's where the choice comes in. We don't necessarily know what holds us back. We don't necessarily know what is we know we in a, we're in a challenge. We know there is a block to whatever it is that you want to create, but you don't really understand the underlying triggers to what caused it. And you do everything to break through. And yet something brings you back. What I call with my weight loss clients, who come to me for hypnotherapy to lose the weight and first and foremost is teaching them and teaching you how words matter. Truly, they do. What we say and the first person who hears it is us, right? Because even when you think it and you don't see it out loud, guess who hears it first? you do so in life the things that we do the things that happen in your life is the thoughts the ideas the concepts and images because thoughts create images and when we start looking and visualizing those images it's what we embed into memory and that can be from the time that we are very young to this very moment so why did I say choice? It is your choice to heal within. It is your choice to break through. It is your choice to break the walls and peel away layers. Because no one has control over us, we allow things. And sometimes we don't recognize, we don't understand when we allow things to happen. Does that make sense to you? If it does, just say, show me with an emoji, say yes, whatever. But understanding this concept, because, let me emphasize this, because from the time that we are children, from one, from age one to seven, even your children, 
They truly look, listen, and learn. They copy you. They copy everything that we adults say and do. And us children, while we're children, we are doing the same thing to them. So if it is cuss words in the house, the child grows up using the same language. If it is respect, the child grows up to know and understand what respect is. If it is um, words that are, let's say, um, what's that, sarcastic. And if there is sarcasm used in the family, even as a joke, or that's the way they uh, speak, we grow up learning the same language, the same pattern. So what we don't realize, when we become adults, we are truly utilizing some of the old patterns. And then we add more and more and more. And then we want to break it down, not understanding what is it that we're breaking down. So in a way, yesterday I was on a Zoom call and someone asked me, what is it that I do? And you know, it was beautiful. She said, but why, I see a book behind you and what does the book have to do with you? And I said, well, I also, I'm an author, but the things that I have written, the books that I have written are more of a self-help book. They're not your bulk of, let's say it's not drama, it's not comedy, it is not, um, it, it is not a biography or any of that. And the concept for that is that anyone, even you, if you have been hurting emotionally, mentally, if you believe that you don't matter, if you believe that you have gained so much weight that you can't, you can't lose it because no matter what you do, you keep bringing it back. It's this yo-yo effect. Then I will say this to you. It, you have not put your finger on the culprit, on that trigger of what's triggering you. Because what you want in life is to be fit. You want to be thin or you want to be better you want to be healthier you want to be free you want to be free of this weight you want to be free of this pain this anguish and yet no matter what you do you keep cycling in the same place believe it or not i know everything about it been there done that right but one thing I didn't realize is no matter what I did, I kept reverting back until I had to go and find my triggers. What was triggering this? So once I, I like to call it peel away because it's, it's not something that I can just go zoom like magic and it's gone, but it's, it's like peeling away gently. It's peeling away lovingly and being loving towards yourself and recognizing that you have all the power, but sometimes you just need a little bit of help. Hi, Scott. How are you, dear? Good afternoon, and thank you for being here. Scott, why don't you share? I know you got one of the recordings and everything. How did that recording help you? You can share. Anyone who is here, any of my friends, any of my uh, colleagues, anyone who's here, why don't you share? Share just a synopsis or just a snap of what you thought 
about the recordings, what you thought about the session. It's not something that it's magical, but over time, you know, I say it takes 33 days to make a change, to begin the process of change, right? And in those 33 days, that's why so many people who are doing this miracle change or uh, let's do a challenge, everything is done on 30 days. And I like to call it 33 days. First and foremost, three has a significant meaning for me because I do things in three. The evoke, embrace, evolve, evoking what was, which is going back in time to bring to surface so we can recognize it. And embracing the here and now, the reality, the facts of our pain, emotional pain, I am not understood, no one believes in me. Those are all misconceptions that we come to believe. It's not real, but we make it real. We make it real because we have been either told or shown or been put down to come to believe that. Isn't that sad? It's sad that sometimes we forget who we are. So I was doing a coaching just a few days ago and I said, you know what I do? I want to create these doormats or a sign in front of a door, your internal door, your internal eye that says I matter because everything I do, it says you matter, right? So that you don't become someone else's doormat. Either emotionally, physically, mentally, professionally, personally, it doesn't matter. You are not a doormat. People do not have to swipe their feet. You can say yes knowingly instead of becoming a yes person. And I mean this, we become so much yes person to please others that that internal resentment of why we do that, why do we just hold instead of expressing it, we pack it on. And those are the emotional and mental weights that I help you recognize and peel away. The physical, oh my God, it's so correct that you can eat, you can fast, you can juice, you can eat fat, you can do keto uh, dieting, you can do Susan Summers dieting, you can do weight loss dieting, you can do Weight Watchers diet. Do you realize there is so many different gluten-free dieting? You can do all kinds of dieting, except None of them are saying, what are you holding on to? You need to detox your emotional, that emotional crap you accepted. You need to detox that mental thought process that you believed. Does that make sense? If it makes, if, if you, if you find even a slightest, hint of this is connecting with you to show me you can even text me you can text me at 818-221-2797 you can text me that number at any time except after midnight i usually do not answer and i will respond to you after eight o'clock in the morning so from 12 until eight o'clock in the morning it's a no zone but you can always text me it's not a gimmick, it's not anything. That text comes directly to me and I respond to you. Me, myself, Lisa, responds. It's not an auto process, it's not my assistant or anything. Lisa will respond to you if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, if there is anything that you want me to help you peel away. I even offer a 30 minute free consultation, a discovery session. You can even text right, right now. You can text 818-221-2797 and say, 
slim. Let's let's say that. Just came to me. So slim. You can just text that, and then I will actually text. I matter. I want that to be your emphasis. Nothing else. I matter. Because I want you to start writing that. Put it on post-it notes. There it is. Post-it notes. You can take a post-it note. Let's do this together. And write. I matter. This one small little word. I matter. And you put it right here on your computer. That's it. That every time you open your computer, the first thing you see is I matter. You sit in your car, you want to drive away, put that post-it note, I matter. You're taking a shower and breathe in, breathe out and say, I matter. I want that to sink in. That whatever it is that you feel matters. And it doesn't have to matter to somebody else but you. What you feel matters. Your existence matters. We all have something to peel away. I have a coach. I'm learning some things from her. And I got to tell you, next week, you are going to be amazed because I'm going to bring something on and show something that I am excited because it's going to help you as much as helping me. But that's another story. But for today, I want you to get this. So I have, I'm open for any questions. Amen. I'm doing good. Um, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Is this only Mark over here sh showing comments and everything? That's sad. Yes, you matter. Yes, you do. Hi, Ty. I'm on a soul food diet. I love you, man. I love you. Ty Hunter. He was on my show two weeks ago. We talked about humans matter. We talked about we matter. And I'm not saying different segregations and everything. It's just we. Let me show you something. Oh, today is like, uh, it's uh, learn and teach. And I love this. Don't you love this? It's learning while. Okay. So this is we, correct? Now, if I turn the W. Upside down, it becomes what? Me. So me, if you turn that upwards, it becomes a W. And the E, no matter how you turn it, it's still an E. Interesting, right? So I can turn around and say W stands for women. M stands for men. Wow. We matter. It doesn't matter man, woman, you, me, they, we all. Because we are all children of God. Your body matters. Your feelings matter. So when you come over here to peel away layer by layer lovingly, and I hold space, and literally I teach you. I teach you. And if you want to be a part of my teaching next week, I'm doing this group Zoom. I'm dedicating 90 minutes of my time doing core uh, peeling away. Yes, it's a group thing. And only and only 20 people can join this Zoom because I think more than 20, actually 18. And with me and my assistant becomes 20. But 18 people can go on my Zoom. And I'm doing 18 because it adds up to a nine. Three times three is a nine. But I want to be effective. And being effective is 
giving each person some time because in 90 minutes I can do a lot of help a lot of shedding a lot of just recognizing dialogue dialogue of how we speak how we present ourselves and how we stand up to what we say and what we do and how we say it you know that is the most important thing to realize that you can you can make a difference in your own life and why not why not why not because you want to have peace in your life you want to have harmony in your life is that what you want do you want more harmony in your life do you want more peace and tranquility i work with people who are overwhelmed over stressed over anxious over 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 or the ones who feel undervalued and those are the ones who come because they've done it all so my question to you is what do you want what do you want so let me know hello Henri I love calling you Henri good self reflections yes 21 days actually Karina here's why 21 days I turned it into 33 days because in one month we are creatures of habit right and as creatures of habit the things that we do is by give me a second give me a moment uh give me an hour or i'll see you in a day it's everything is timeline in one month we have the longest in a month that we have is 31 days so our subconscious mind our programming our patterns are in a way that it's designed to work on timelines when we do something for 21 days and you finish it on 21 days i've repeated this i have a formula i can even send you the formula and 21 days you do it there's one week exactly seven days or eight days left left for the month to end and in your subconscious mind because we like to, things to complete every task has a goal we do task 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 in order for us to accomplish a goal right it's a formula you do a task and then another task because you have an end goal we don't do goals 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 mm -hmm. so if that makes sense right at the end of that 21 days once you finish it the subconscious says uh what do i do for the next week it feels depleted if there is a drop i'm not completed so 33 days completes not only 30 days if it is a 30 day month or a 31 days we have completed two extra days two extra days in the next month already had not only you have accomplished 31 days but you've done you've given more you have served more you have cherished yourself more two more days into the next month and on that next month guess what happens you only have 28 days to go not 30 days so you already have set yourself you've set yourself in an accomplished position it's you've served yourself hmm? and that's called a success because our subconscious mind we build on success not on failures so on 28 days when we drop we're looking searching and if we feel depleted or not complete we're going to revert back unless you want to do 21 days 21 days 21 days so it's that 33 day margin that truly helps you shift shift 
a pattern shift a habit. So for those of you who want to change a habit, let's, I was at the dentist today and uh, they said, are you, are you flossing three times a day? And I said, yes, I am. So three times a day, my dentist recommends flossing three times a day. There's, there's people who don't even floss once a day. And it's not necessarily for your teeth, it's for your gums. It's like massaging your gums, it's cleaning, it's clearing. Every day we build on success. And when you build on success and you become successful, you feel good about yourself. It's simple. We want to feel good. We want to be appreciated. We want to be loved. We, we want to feel at peace. And that's why I help you heal within by peeling away all the emotional pain and trauma that you no longer need to keep. That's it. That's it. And you can always text me 818-27, no, 221-2797. There you go. Let's see. Uh, Henry, smile, thumbs up, love it. Uh, Ah, Adrian says, gives you a boost. Karin says, thanks. It was great being with you last night. We were on this Zoom call together. You know, this is what I love. I just love connecting. I love connecting, sharing, and finding ways to support one another. And again, if anybody wants to be a part of my group, that 18 people, it's going to be next week, just text I matter to 818-221-2797. And we'll do this. We'll do this together. It's going to be amazing. So at the meantime, you know, every single episode that I have, it's on YouTube. You can always click right down here and go check my YouTube. We have been live together. I have come live on Heal Talk Tuesdays for over three years. Amazing. So if you want to know how long I've been doing this, believe it or not, it's uh, when I think back and I was looking at my certificate because my hypnotherapy certificate came and it said that I got my certification in 1997. And uh, it took me about a year or two for me to delve right deep into uh, practicing this fully because I used to work at the law firm until then. And I'm thinking over 20 years, over two decades. And yes, I don't do stage hypnosis. I don't help you quack like a dog or bark like a dog because that's not me. I'm not a stage hypnotist. But by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and yes, a domestic abuse consultant. That's why I help you not to be a doormat so let's peel this let's pull that away from the door and we put the signs i matter we matter together i am right here for you and as always my saying goes I stand by you so that I can hold you and hold your hand if need be. I will stand in front of you and protect you, safeguard you, either during the session or no matter where, if I can, definitely emotionally and mentally support you. And I tell my clients, I will stand behind you that if you need to lean upon me, I'm right there. 
but it all starts with you saying yes to yourself. Saying yes to you, not anyone else. And it's about time you stand up for who you are, not what you are, right? And if it's a yes, show me with an emoji, say yes in the comments, exactly. And you help people better than anyone else. Oh, thank you, Adrian. Thank you. Yes, it's about time. I, even I do my own uh, process of let's evoke back and say, think about where did this come from? What is this triggering me? Everything. I do my own peeling, believe it or not. And then sometimes professionally, when I need some things, I have my own mentors, I have my own coaches, because there's things that I want to get better at. Not that I don't know. I just want to get better at. That's it. I have many coaches and next week I'm going to be talking about all this. I might even bring one of my coaches, if not two of my coaches, so that you can benefit from them. I mean, I love Manny Lopez. I truly am adoring Forbes Riley right now. And there's so many more that it's going to happen. And I am saying their names because they have made an impact in my life. Les Brown has made an impact in my life. My mentor, the person who taught me hypnotherapy, bless his soul, Gil Boyne made a difference in my life. We butt head in the beginning, but he made a difference. He pushed me to the brink of breaking through. And that's what it takes sometimes. So, and I am the best in helping you break through and peeling away certain habits and the things that you no longer need to keep. Yeah, it's not what you eat, it's what's eating at you. Let's peel it away. So until next week, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. Text me anytime, 818-221-2797. Goodbye. And remember, keep your posted notes in front of you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.